One of the best features with the, the Castro podcast app is that you can sideload audio files like audio books and other audio files. And in this video I will show you another cool trick and that is by adding YouTube videos, the audio from YouTube videos into Castro podcast app so you can listen to longer videos and so on and you can in fact even sideload YouTube videos, music videos, you can actually rip music into Castro podcast app and listen to for example live concerts or other music videos from YouTube directly into Castro podcast app and that is what I will show you now. So let's start the Castro podcast app. Here we have the inbox as you can see there inbox of the Castro podcast app. Here is where all the files are collected for example, all the podcasts I subscribe to and all the sideloaded audio books and other audio files, they get into the inbox. And when you want to listen to one of these audio files, you just click on that and otherwise you can play it directly, as you can see there. Or you can choose to queue it as the next file or queue it as the last file. Or you can remove it from the inbox. But if you remove it from the inbox, you will still have it in your library. So basically all the files you collect and uh, subscribe to and so on, they are in this library. So when you want to listen to that again or find other files you haven't listened to yet or so, you can find them in the library. That's pretty nifty, I think. But here we have the inbox, as, as I said. So now I will add a YouTube video into this inbox that we can listen to later on. So by doing so, we need to go into YouTube, but in Safari. So on an iPhone, you will be able to use the mobile YouTube web application in Safari. So let's start Safari. Here we have YouTube, as you can see in Safari on your iPhone. Now you can search any YouTube video you want to add to Castro podcast app or go to your subscription or whatever. But let's say that I want to add this uh, the Nimitz Encounters video, a, U uh, a UFO video about the Nimitz Encounters to Castro podcast to listen to. As you can see, it's 32 minutes long, so it's a great uh, file to listen to as a podcast or a short audiobook, for example. So by doing so, we need to start the video. And I don't want to have some uh, copyright issues on YouTube, so I will, don't, I will not have uh, the volume up now when starting this. And I will press uh, pause immediately, as you know. So start the video like that, pause it. Now we will share this video by using the share menu. We'll share it to Castro podcast app. So go down here to the share button and click on that. And here in the share menu, you scroll down to sideload to Castro, as you can see there. If that button is not available, you have to uh, edit your share options down below here. But uh, if you have Castro podcast app and subscribe to their subscription based premium option, then you have this button available. So click on that. Now, as you can see, it downloads the Nimitz encounters video and now it transcodes it to audio. That means that it uh, removes the video actually and, and saves the audio file. So no difference in uh, quality whatsoever. So you have the same quality as the video has for the audio. That's nice for music videos, for example, or live concerts and so on. So now it has saved this video to my Castro podcast app. I click done. Now, when we go back to the Castro podcast app, like this, you see 
the Nimitz Encounters video here. If you click on that small button, you see that uh, you don't have any info about this because you have sideloaded that file. But now, if you click there, you can actually play this immediately in Castro Podcast app by clicking on the play button. And now it loads into your Castro Podcast app. And here you can use all the nifty features I use for audiobooks, for example, enhanced voices, trim silence. That's awesome. You can save a, a, a lot of time listening to audiobooks by trim silence, about two hours for a 10 hours audiobook, for example, by just having trim silence. And you have continuous play, of course, if you want to listen to something after this file. And here you have options for speeding up the, the audio, for example, 1.5 in speed, like that. Now we can listen to this audio. And uh, here we have the info that's removed. But I don't uh, want to listen too much for this audio because corporate issues, but let's say. Personal conviction for democracy and patriotism guides him in his search for the truth. This is an actual event that happened. And As you can see, it works perfectly fine. So you can listen to different speeds and so on for this um, episode. Pretty nifty, I think. So now we go into YouTube up again to see if we can do the same for an audio file, a music file in YouTube up. So here we again, we have YouTube. Now I want to search YouTube and let's say I want to listen to The Cure, one of my favorite music groups of all time. So search for Cure like this then we have a lot of music for cure here but we have for example here a concert uh, somewhere there for example so let's say i want to add this concert to to my castro podcast app then we open it and i pause it for corporate issues and then just Click the share button again and scroll down to sideload to Castro. And now it starts to download the video. As you can see, the concert was one hour and 30 minutes long. And as you can see, it takes some few seconds to download it. But uh, it's really fast actually. I think uh, it's much faster than I thought this should be this nifty feature in the Castro podcast app. So now it removes the video. So basically it saves just the audio file to your Castro podcast app. And now it's finished. As you can see, really, really, really fast. I really love this feature. So now when I click press done, we can go back to the Castro podcast app. And as you can see here at the top, the Cure, live at Glastonbury 2019. So now we have this show in the Castro Podcast app inbox. So now we can listen to that. Now it plays. And of course I want to play that in the original speed because it's music. But uh, as before I can't uh, have the volume to much but as you can see it works so basically you can save a lot of music and so on directly into your iCloud account because Castro podcast apps side loading feature uses uh, iCloud so if you have uh, uh, a lot of iCloud stories as I have then you can store a lot of music that you can play directly in the Castro podcast app I think that's amazing actually. I really, really love this feature. It's so awesomely good. I really love this feature. So that's about it in, for this video. So this is a way to sideload audio directly from YouTube. 
so you can listen to longer documentaries for example or longer uh, video files or listen to music concerts or video music videos and so on directly in the Castro podcast app and for me I also use their DRM free audiobooks to listen to in Castro podcast app because it's much much better because you have the trim silence feature so you can listen to the audiobooks really fast uh, so you can listen to a book uh, so fast that you can have a lot more to listen to all the time so i really love the trim silence feature in castro podcast app for audiobooks okay i hope you like this video if you do please subscribe to my youtube channel i need more subscribers so do that okay bye